All right. Last game, we had a miserable attempt at being Huang. This time, I'm going to be Huang. Just got to embrace the Huang. Two idle villagers on the wood line. Inefficient economy. Market abuse. Got it. That's the Huang way. <clears throat> We're actually practicing the Huang rush. I kind of want to... I, I kind of want to... Try it a little bit more to see how deadly it is. Just ask yourself, how would Wang, what would Wang do? To be fair, if my map is, is possible to wall, I will do the Drush past Castle Huang. But if it's not possible to wall, then he goes for a little bit of Feudal Age. He will uh, do better this time. I'm not going to force a bad engagement. I'm going to force a good engagement. <laughs> see? Already improving. Learning a lot, game to game. I just need to trade units, essentially, in Fuel Age. My Fuel Age is about trading units. Go lame! Oh, I forgot about the lame! See, I end up talking to chat and I forget that I'm supposed to lame. I don't see a single woodland yet. Okay, thank you. Oh! Fogo! Okay, that woodland looks quite nice, actually. I'll say I'm satisfied with that so far. Oh, super Pogo! It's all fun and games until someone gets hung. <laughs> <laughs> I like that saying. That's a really good saying, actually. Super Pago, indeed. He traded 12 wills for 4 archers last game. Did I really lose 12 wills for those archers? Well, it makes sense that I lost then, okay? It wasn't only my fault. How's oh. your wrist? Anonymous donating 21 euro. I think that's 20. Uh, I think that's. Uh, I think that is 25 dollars. Anonymous, thank you very, very much. Uh, my wrist is so so. It's not perfect, obviously. But it's, it's alright. Um, I'm able to play, and as long as I'm wearing this thing, I'm able to play without suffering, you can say. That sounds extreme as well. I'm able to play and not feel too bothered while playing, so it's all right. Such a lamer. Hey, don't, don't, don't hate the player, hate the Wang. Okay. Discomfort is a good way to describe it, yes. Mm. I, mean, I guess my map is somewhat suitable to do the rush fast castle, but I kind of want to do the feudal thing because it, I just feel like that is even more scary. What did Viper lame Kazva? Listen, I did not lame Kazva. You have to differentiate between me and Huang. Okay? I am essentially the embodiment of Huang right now, okay? So whatever happens in this game is Huang, okay? That's how it works. I'm just trying to play like Huang. Not that complicated. This is a perfect place for me to pressure. Look, there's a hill there, there's main gold. <laughs> Wang is crying tears of joy. Also, my build order was bad last game. I, I My barracks was late, my militia were late. Everything was late.
This time it will not be late, hopefully. So we had like six wheels on wood going to fuel age. And then he added more wheels in the fuel age. I think something like this should be fine. Now we send four wheels on gold. Don't need four, but let's do it. Huang, Huang must know what he's doing, right? He will have wood for a range. Need to drop some farms. Wait, he gets three men at arms. It's bad. I didn't think about the opponent having civ bonuses. It's scary, actually. We need to take the deer. We could make a mill there because it's fairly close. Probably do four militia. So far, this is going perfect. You go there, you go there. Let's do another one. No, actually, it's quite quite walled. I don't think another militia makes sense. One more on wood. It, it's coming, okay? Look, it's perfect so far. Perfect. Range is going up, and arms are going forward. Uh, he has loom, unfortunately. Yeah, he's doing defensive. Oh, he has four. But now, I'm, I have learned from my previous mistakes, guys. I will keep him chasing. Never mind, he didn't chase. But I still learned, okay? No real Huang. But so far, this is text mark, text mark Huang. Textbook Huang. There is nothing here that has not been Huang so far. Okay? Oh, I don't want to fight yet. I need to make sure I wait for my archer. Gathered another one. This is perfect for Huang. I will have archer. I will force him to fight. And I have archer. And I will improve the Huang build here, by the way, guys. Because he will not know how to... Like, I will not do fletching. Which means I will be up even faster. Now he has to stop. What is he doing here? I will just take the fight. See, I learned last game. I learned to take good fights instead of bad fights. See, it is already getting going so much better. Issue, I haven't made enough farms yet. My farming has not been on point. But that's fine. Okay, now we need a market. Then we can click up. This one thing is pretty solid. Huang makes farms. Believe it or not, he actually does. Like that. You go there. Um, I think we stop there. Look, he made his own range. All I want to do naturally is just trade off units. And up we go, look! Oh my god, we're up at 14 minutes! This is redonkulous! This is like a fast castle at this point. Where's the stable? It's coming. Oh yeah, stable first. Oh my god, Huang stop. Look, and he's making skirms! He's so dead, man. He's so dead. 
Style points. I'll add one scout to help you with this. Oh, I need a blacksmith to do a Seabrook shop. That's what I was adding earlier, but then I realized I need to do the stable first. This is still perfect, guys. Dear, I don't know if he has realized that his scout is in jeopardy. What am I doing? The seed workshop needs to go up in his face. It's a it's a below 17 minutes freaking castlage. God, this is man Huang knows. <laughs> Huang knows, man. This is the way to play the game. This is the way. It's actually ridiculous. You do what? Four minute arms? Four five archers? You still get a 17 minute cast stage with monastery, seed workshop, stable, blacksmith, market. Wang is a genius. He's a genius. Sixteen forty seven, that's the regular fast castle. <laughs>